Let's talk about last week's Impact uh, Wrestling episode from, I believe, February 2nd. It was a uh, kind of the same as the last few weeks where Impact Wrestling is concerned. It's fine television, but nothing special. Before we get more into this, though, I want to talk about some stuff I've been reading online about Impact. There is a certain segment of Impact fans that are always complaining about the vets in Impact Wrestling and that they take up too much time. And I just do not agree. I really think that the vets in Impact Wrestling are very necessary to find a, a balance for the show. And I do think vets like Bully Ray and Mickey James which is who I've been getting a lot of uh, flack these last few weeks for taking up too much time. I don't. I just don't understand that. I think they bring some of the best segments of the show. They had the best builds to Hard to Kill pay per view. So I just really disagree with uh, that assessment. There was another promo this past week with Bully Ray in the ring, really dropping some truth bombs about Tommy Dreamer and how he is a. Uh, always just wants to be loved by everyone but that makes him a, a snake because he's basically fake where bully ray tells the truth i've heard some real life stories about tommy dreamer being a fake person back in the day because he wanted to be liked by everyone i heard stevie richards tell a story about one time when they were in the wwe together they were sitting together but Tommy Dreamer couldn't sit with him for long because he had to go sit by uh, Christian and Edge and some of the other more cool kids. <laughs> That's how it sounds. It sounds like a cafeteria in freaking high school where uh, some of these wrestlers are concerned. So Bully Ray dropping some truth about Tommy Dreamer here. He then gets interrupted by Mickey James. They've been having it out the last couple of weeks interrupting each other. He slammed her in their six-man mixed tag match a couple weeks back. He's going to attack her again because she slaps him. And then Tommy Dreamer makes the save. So this continues the tension between Bully Ray and Mickey James, which I kind of enjoy, honestly. Uh, and also continues the story or the war, allegedly, that uh, Dreamer and Bully are in right now. But yeah, I think uh, Bully Ray adds a lot to Impact Wrestling, and I think Mickey James does too. Complaints about Tommy Dreamer, probably true as long as Dreamer doesn't have a lot of matches, though I don't think it's really that bad. Santino, kind of another vet who I'm still on the fence about. The way they're using Santino to just randomly book matches isn't really working for me. But to go with that, uh, the vet talk and some of the complaints I saw online about the vets and Impact taking up too much time, and uh, and the first match on the, in the on the show not getting enough respect. It was Ace Austin and Chris Bay versus Kushida and Kevin Knight. I don't think that match was anything special. I'm sorry. I was, you can turn on any wrestling show and see 20 or more tag matches a week that are just like it. It's just a choreographed tag team match that we see countless times. I mean, the match wasn't bad, but it's just nothing special. That's why the fans that focus just so much on the matches that are just totally subjective, but what's not subjective about the matches is to actually grow an audience, you need more psychology in your matches, and that's what a lot of these type of matches lack completely, unfortunately. That's the way of modern wrestling over the past decade getting to this point. Another main story on Impact has been Sammy Callahan and Cody Deaner, who are the design. There is more than just one Cody and Sammy to talk about in pro wrestling. Although this story, not nearly as big as the WWE talks. Also not nearly as booked well as uh, Sammy Zayn, to say the least. It's been about Sammy Callahan needing to prove himself to join the design. I still go back to, I don't understand Callahan wanting to join this Hill team in the first place. I don't know what this is supposed to be doing for Sammy Callahan, although the Callahan character has always been a bit off the wall. But uh, Sammy Callahan does win the 
main event with the, the design. So I guess Callahan is passing his test to continue to join this group. And Cody Deaner continues to want him to prove himself. I, I needed to just move along. The, this story needs to reach a point of either ending or starting to climax because it's honestly not a good story. And that's kind of where we are with Impact right now since Hard to Kill. Either the stories are boring or just not that interesting. That's just what we're getting with all of them. They are doing a pretty good job with the G Giselle Shaw character who defeats Savannah Evans thanks to interference. Shaw kind of responsible for Savannah Evans and Tasha Stills no longer getting along. So Giselle's character kind of be, keeps coming between women tag teams and other tag teams because she wants to spotlight herself it's one way to grow a character. It's, a, it's different than something I recall seeing. So I will give some props to Impact for that story. Crazy Steve and Trey Miguel are in a feud where they keep attacking one another. It's pretty basic stuff. Crazy Steve also biting Trey Miguel. And one of the more entertaining parts was now Matt Cardona trying to have a rap response to... Uh, Joe Hendry's song about him last week and Cardona's rap not that great pretty lame he lost the audience that he was trying to gain from that rap but I continue the I, I like this little comedy feud between Joe Henry and Matt Cardona because it entertains me and when I watch wrestling I want to be entertained first and foremost but I think the main takeaway from Impact outside of Giselle Shaw continue to to be developed well as a character is bully ray continues to mess with mickey james i like that he went to the back they show him meeting masha slamovich for basically the first time or at least the first time we've seen on screen bully ray trying to get in masha's head about how mickey james is disrespecting her because mickey james isn't worried about her at all and that is kind of what we're seeing the Bully Ray character does speak a lot of truth. It's funny when we get to Hills or even just villains in regular TV shows where they tell the truth and yet they're still supposed to be the bad guys. I like when that, that happens every so often for a villain. So overall, Impact is still just fine television. I, I hope we can uh, get some sparks going because I don't really think I'm looking forward to any of the matches coming up on their next uh, little pay-per-view event.